Hey guys, some girl here. So I had a few people that have been asking me for another server versus server video. Um, only for how to get top five in server versus server. I did do previous videos about going over to an enemy server and doing bosses before your bubble drops. And that video was actually more for players that just don't want to drop bubble, but they need the boxes so they can get Blood of Aries. These boxes. Um, so that video was just so that you could get these boxes so you can get a few points and some uh, Blood of Aries. Now, I also have done a previous video, but it wasn't really about how to go to enemy server and do attacking and things like that. Um, it was just me playing on temples and messing around. Um, maybe later I can try and do a video on that, but I think that that one is kind of straightforward. It's just basically going to enemy server, and if you see somebody that has dropped ball, you just go over and hit and then port back to your own server. Um, so I don't think I'm going to do a video on that one. Um, I think that I've posted enough videos on server server for you guys to get a pretty good idea on how to go to enemy server. But this video is going to be about server versus server. Um, it's going to be how to play on your own server. You don't have to go to enemy server. You can stay on your server and still make top five, even if you're a really small keep. So right now I am top five um, with uh, 745 million points. Uh, this keep is another server that I play on. So my original um, keep that I normally play on is on server 482. This one is on 1128. I started this server as soon as it came out. Uh, it's only, I want to say it's only a couple of months, maybe like six months. I'm not really sure how old this server is. It's it's not very old. It's still a new server. But on this account, I am only 71 million power. I am a keep 31. Um, my march size is really small. I use a march that is cav because I only have mostly T12 cav because of bosses. Um... So this is the march that I send. My march is only 700,000, 704,000. I don't send a layered march. I'm not with this keep size and my power. So I send T12 and T11 because whenever you're going to hit people that are around your size, you don't really want a layered march. The reason why is because most, most people that are on new servers and they are around your size they aren't going to have a lot of layers and their defenses are not going to be up to par their research isn't going to be very good and sometimes they don't even have a wall gen so usually a march like this when you're really small does the job pretty well you don't have to send layers because if i added all of the layers even if it was only you know 10 or you know, 50 or 100, it's still, it's going to take away my power. And it's really not necessary at this keep size. So that's the march that I send. I don't have a lot of troops either. I'm still working on my troop details. Um, like all of my layers, I'm still working on it. I don't have a lot. So I don't go to enemy server very often. If I do, it's usually because I know that, that person is um, going to be a really good hit and it'll be kind of quick in and out of enemy server. Anyways, to the video, guys. Um, this is mostly for small smaller players. And it's taken me a long time to get this video out because whenever you play on your own server it takes a long time so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the ranking of enemy server the alliance power ranking and you're going to go through and look at the members on all of the alliances you're going to go down the list on all of them 
If you watched my previous video, I did show you guys how to find someone that's on your server. And it's with these little gold swords that are um, on top of the avatars. You know, I'm trying to find one so I can show you guys in this one so you don't have to go back and watch a previous video. But if I don't find one, you might. I pre-recorded um, a hit that I had made earlier. So you'll be able to see it then, but it's pretty fast, so I didn't want to, you to have to try and find that. I don't think I'm going to find anybody. Server server is pretty much almost over, so there's not going to be a lot of people coming over. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to show you the video that I did earlier. Go to server war, ranking of enemy server, alliance power ranking. And go through the lists. Now when you're going through this list and you find somebody that's really big that you know that is not in your power level I wouldn't bother even trying to find them unless you want to spend the gems or um, the, what's it called? I can't even think of the name. The arrest warrant so that you can share it with your alliance or even, you know, on world chat so somebody else can hit that person. I usually do, as long as I have a whole bunch of arrest warrants, I'll go ahead and locate that person for our server but if i'm running low i don't i save it for players that i know that i can hit so this is also a really good way to help your own server out as well if you have a lot of arrest warrants you could be finding targets for your server to hit for all of your bigs to hit or even um you know medium-sized players. There's one. So we're going to locate him. I always add a bookmark, and then I also block that player really fast. And then I go and I port probably about 30 to 40 kilometers away kind of off screen and then I just sit and wait for the bubble to drop. Now the reason why I bookmark is just in case I, um, whenever I go to port it's easier to get back to him just go to the bookmarks instead of trying to find where he was and then I also block so that I can find him when he ports because when they're doing bosses and stuff they usually port and it's easier to locate them it's faster see he ported so we're going to friends blacklist detail locate cords and he's only 60 kilometers away, so we don't have to port again. He's still fairly close. He's probably going to port again. Now I click the red bubble a lot because sometimes 
they will drop bubble, but that red bubble will still be there because of any lag. So if it says attack, that means that the bubble is dropped and you can attack. It's just not showing that it dropped, if that makes sense. It happens all the time. And sometimes I'll go off screen and then back on screen because of lag. So we're going to locate one more time. Dropped bubble. So we're going to attack real quick. We're going to speed it up. And of course he has a march out. I don't know. He might. I don't know if I can return fast enough. He's going to port. Yeah. He ported. Sometimes they are really slow um, and they won't port very fast, so you can get another hit in if they had a march out sometimes, not always. That wasn't bad. The uh, power loss difference, 17 and 2, so... And he had resources. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how I do uh, server versus server on my own server and get top five. I literally, I just go through this list and I keep finding players. Oh, look, see, but these are big. And this rifle guy, he is always ghosted. And this is the big that they have. Um, So you don't really want to locate those guys, but... Um, yeah, this whole entire server versus server, all I did was I went through these lists and I would find people that were on our server that drop bubble and I would go hit them. Um, I will say though, to stay in your own range, you don't want negative points. Um, a lot of players do that and depending on the server that you're on, some servers... When it comes to being king or throne, um, some servers do it, the top five can get it, and they have a rule about being positive or not. Our server doesn't, so our server doesn't care if you have positive or negative. Um, as long as you're in top five and you open your wonder, then you can be on throne. Now on my other server, um, you have, it's a rule, you have to be positive points. And the reason why is because so many people will go over and they will drop bubble and get hit on purpose um, so that they can get points. And they'll be end up being really, really negative and cause us to actually lose server versus server, which sucks because all of the people that are positive and whenever it comes to the winning rewards, you don't get as many rewards whenever you lose. So when people go and they drop bubble and they cause you to actually start losing server versus server, what those people are doing is they are making it so to where that all the people that are working really hard at it, they don't get as many rewards as they could have. Like they get half of the amount of rewards that they could have had. So you're not only losing server versus server for your server, but you're also making it to where all of those players that are working hard, they're not getting as good of rewards as they could have had if we had won, if that makes sense. Um, so to find out if you are positive or you are negative, like mine is 745 million. And if you go here where this little blue icon with the guy is, you click on that and it will tell you how many points you have given the enemy server. Now I have 745 million points, 
but I've only given 152 million. Now you are going to give the enemy server some points. That's that's the way it works. You're going to have wounded, which creates points for the enemy server. But as long as your ratio is really good, like 745 million versus 152 million, that's not a bad ratio. Um, on average, it's usually about a 50%. So if you have 300 million points, 50% um, of 300 million is 150 million. So as long as your ratio is right around about 50%, you're doing really, really good. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, what you don't want to do is be like this guy. So he has 363 million points. And he's given almost 2 billion points away. Okay, that's because he goes over and he hits people that he knows he shouldn't be hitting. He knows he's going to lose. Or he goes over and he drops bubble on purpose to get points. You don't want to be that guy. That's a good way to become like enemy number one on your server. If you go negative on server versus server on purpose. I It's always okay to go negative sometimes. Like if it's not on purpose, you accidentally get caught on a temple or you accidentally get caught while your your march is out on enemy server or if you were trapped, you know, it happens. It's happened to me several times it, and that's fine. But if you are blatantly going over and doing it on purpose, that's a different story. Um, so you definitely don't want to do that. You want to stay in the positive Um. And that's how I do server server. That's how I get top five. Um, another thing is, guys, I mean, know your power. Know what you can and can't hit without going negative. Um, and what I mean by that is whenever you go to do your, you look at your reports, if you look at the lost power, I only lost 2 million on that hit and he lost 17.7. .7. That's a good ratio. Okay. If they lose more power, let's see if I can find another one. See, that one was a small one. That was on a temple. Um, this was a decent one. So I lost a little more power on this one. I lost 12.5, but he still lost more power. He, he lost more than 50% than I did. So probably 60% more. He lost 38.7. So that's that's about how all of my reports are. And every so often, if you know you can win a defense, like on this one, if you know, like if you've seen reports of this guy, you know what his buffs are, you know what he sends, and you go over and you try and get hit by those specific people, which I did, um, the, the lost power would be really good. And the only reason I did it is I went to enemy server because I knew this guy was on and I knew he was taking the temples. And he was one of the temple protectors. So I went over and I took the temple and then I ported kind of close by to him. And he was the only one on it this time. And I knew he was going to hit me. So I let him. Um, only because I knew that I was going to win. Now, there are some that I did not as good on. Oh, not that one. Let's see. No, not that one either. I had one report. I still won, but I still didn't do as good. I might not even have it anymore. Mm. Let's see. I don't think I have it anymore, but I did have only one report. I still won as far as the power loss goes, but it was barely, like, barely. It was, like, only 5 million less than the other person. So you really have to watch out. And But I think that guy that I had hit was, like, 120 million power, and it was a K32. I, and I figured, okay, I'm going to try it. Um, and he also had a march out. So you have to know your power. Know what you can and can't hit. I normally stick to my own keep level. Sometimes I stick to K32, even though I'm only K31. And I try and stick to anybody that's under 100 million power because I'm only 71. 
Um, so yeah, if you stick with that, with all of those things and you stick on your server and you just keep watching for people that come over and I mean, you really have to stay on top of it. Once you're done, um, like this person, this person comes over and ghosts. If you know that they are ghosters, I wouldn't even bother trying. Honestly, it would be a waste of gems or ports um, and arrest warrants. I wouldn't even try. But usually once I get to about um, number 12, I start over. I go back to the top and I start it all over again. Um, so that, yeah, that's how I get top five. I hope this helps you guys a little bit. Um, until next video, guys. Later.